All right, just got a new, new foil in the mail. Let's check it out. Doing an unboxing of the Cloud 9 P27 foil. This is a low speed, high lift, aluminum mast, carbon fiber wings, and should be, after all the research and talking with different manufacturers, should be the best foil for our e-foil setup and for my weight. I'm uh, over 200 pounds, so I kind of need a bit bigger foil. All right, Cloud9 Surf Foils. All right, got this cool foam. Wow, is that ever light. Man, that puts my other foil to shame. That is like nothing. It's like foam. Wow. That is awesome. Now that is a killer wing. And that is ultra light. Jeez. Feels like some hardware. All right. Cloud nine, foil shirt, perfect. That's a nice, nice heavy duty mast. It's uh, much more from the leading edge to the trailing edge. It's bigger than the other mast that I have. Nice and streamlined. Yeah, so inside the middle chamber here, they have put an aluminum shaft, a quarter inch uh, shaft by an inch and a half or so, and it goes down about eight inches, takes away any potential bend in here, which our last foil we had bend on us, which was a uh, China foil. And um, obviously, they only lasted one session. And this is, the, this is the problem with bigger wings using standard foils is you do get this potential for the mast to bend. And that's why this mast here is much more heavy duty. It's got more, more girth to it or um, it's longer, has more aluminum to it. And uh, that's why they put the aluminum inside here so it gives that extra rigidity for a bigger board, bigger foil, and a lot more side uh, torque to it. Can't believe how light this stuff is. It's here is the trailing wing. And they got this cool zipper in here, which if you can see it is built right into the corner of the case. You can't even pull it out, it just locks it in. And this, wow, that is super light. That's a uh, Pure 100% carbon fiber um, fuselage. So it's not that heavy aluminum. It doesn't feel like aluminum. Or there might be some aluminum inserts in there. No, it's full carbon with some aluminum threaded inserts. And I know that it's set up that uh, you can adjust uh, where the wing, the, 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 the wing goes on the back. You can alter uh, with these holes whether you want a more stable ride or something shorter for carving uh, more turns. So either, anyway, all this is just awesome. This puts my last two foils, the Liquid Force um, fish foil that I had and the uh, China foil to shame. And I am super stoked to get out and ride this. So uh, thanks Cloud9, awesome, great product. All right, guys, so we're going to do a little bit of work here in the workshop and get uh, we're going to improve a lot of things over the next uh, well, we've been working on everything for about two weeks here, but a lot of stuff's coming together for testing this weekend. 
more or less we're taking this large uh, huge shaft 11 millimeter shaft massive coupler very heavy and the aluminum prop or impeller here and what we're going to do is we're we're downsizing things to improve efficiency lower the weight uh, give us convert all this weight into something lighter and turn it into thrust so more or less we are going to be converting the 11 millimeter shaft to an 8 millimeter shaft the coupler is a fraction the size it can hold the uh, the required uh, torque and this isn't the impeller but uh, we've got one coming that uh, is actually a carbon impeller and we've we've changed the hub dimensions here so now it fits an eight millimeter shaft this is the big 11 millimeter so we've taken that three millimeters we've downsized the hub giving us more blade area which uh, is going to act like a much larger impeller give us more uh, potential thrust and the whole thing is going to weigh about um, about 50 percent lighter than this setup which is significant uh, you can feel the weight of this one it's nothing but metals this one uh, the aluminum the smaller shaft and the carbon prop is significantly lighter so that's what we're going to do uh, right now i'm going to machine um, there's two flat areas we need on the shaft very similar to this one we've got a flat area here and here going to do the same on this to match up with the the new impeller coming and we're going to use the CNC machine or the uh, milling machine here to do that so just throw in the parts that we need which, and the shaft is going to fit right into this vise it has a, a little groove in here it'll lock it into place we're going to put a flat spot rotate it 90 degrees put another flat spot that'll give us both areas for the shaft the impeller to clamp down on the shaft and uh, take out any play any sliding and give us the best bite so that's what I'm going to work on All right, I'm just gonna melt off the, the clear coating that is on these wires here. And what you do is you use more or less aspirin and it melts it off so we can solder onto this. I watched this on YouTube, guy did it. It's amazing how simple it is. Just do not breathe in the fumes. It not only does it gag you and uh, choke you, but it is, I think, highly toxic. So make sure you got fresh air all the way through, out the other side. And that'll get it off. That uh, pretty much, soon, and then as soon as you touch solder to it, it sticks on there. So we just have one more to go and uh, we're good to go.